Greetings everyone, Dr. Nalen here, your senior pastor. I'm coming to you in your homes for a specific pur purpose. And that purpose is to make sure you know what is happening in your church. Indeed, we are in the right place where we are building community and changing lives. Madeline and I are still excited to be your pastors and to lead the way in making sure that we are winning the loss and we are discipling the found. Well, I wanna tell you about the exciting things that are going on at Highland in this last six months. There, there, it has been tremendous. Uh, I wanna start off by saying thank you to my executive pastor, Pastor Yolanda Roseby for the awesome team, awesome work she has done. I also wanna thank our staff. Our staff is tremendous. My executive assistant um, and all of our receptionists and every contractor, every person that makes Highland Christian Center run. I could not do it without them. There are exciting things happening all across the spectrum. So in the next few minutes, I'm just gonna give you an update of what has happened in January of 2021 till now. Uh, we have, uh, I'll start off with, I'm really excited with the Highland Haven and the NU Health and Wellness. The uh, grant that we received over $300,000 to continue to provide COVID support, to uh, wrap around support to our members and uh, to ensure safety of our Highlanders. We have the Hyla uh, Summer Camp that's kicked off. $150,000 grant that we were given. Not only that, we have 54 youth, as I take this today, running through this building daily. Isn't that amazing what God is doing as we reach our youth? And then we also have the HIAC, which we continue to combat alcohol and drugs in our community. Um, and that program also received a $100,000 plus grant. And uh, we are making a difference in the community. Not only did we get those three big programs going, we have a dental van that is happening every month on the first Monday of every month. We have given over $30,000 worth of free, hear me, $30,000 of free services to our community and to our Highland members. God is really moving. Now, I wanna walk you through our departments at Highland. And I wanna start off with the Worship and Arts uh, Department or uh, Directory. What a wonderful job they're doing. They're so awesome. They're consistently keeping worship moving. I mean, since the pandemic has started, when it was just myself and a skeleton crew, we never missed a beat. That praise team stayed intact. That band stayed committed through the pandemic and they're doing it today. So I wanna salute our worship and arts team uh, led by Minister Marquay Seamster doing a wonderful, wonderful job. And I want you to know the dance ministry has been exciting. Uh, the, uh, the praise team has been uh, wonderful uh, throughout. And so uh, as I walk you through, I want you to think about this. What I'm really excited about too is the mentorship program that's going on right now. Uh, as we speak, 12 mentors for boys and girls have stepped up every Thursday at your church to say we want to mentor our kids, to give them hope, to overcome violence, to counter the negative stereotypical views of who we are in our community. We've also had a great year so far with our evangelism department. And our evangelism directorate is led by none other than Elder Ron Williams. And he's doing a great job. Street Ministries. Did you know that your evangelism team has been singing on the street corners? Amazing, isn't it? Um, we've had training uh, for witnessing uh, during the men's meeting. So the evangelism team came in and trained us, Elder Ward, trained us on how to be a more effective 
uh, street witnessing. Now, our prison ministry has been kind of dormant because of COVID, but it's coming back. Uh, both our men's leader, our women's leader, they're ready and chomping at the bit to get back in the prisons. And then, oh my goodness, the hospitality and bereavement team has been just exceptional, uh, really making a difference. And I salute you, uh, evangelism team, for going out, knocking on doors, delivering plants, delivering cards to the bereaved, uh, to those who are shut in, to those who are sick, just making a difference every day. Now, so even as I talk about the evangelism team, I thought about the citywide cleanup with our new uh, community activism team that went out. Now, it was hot that day, so we didn't get as many people as we could have, but we have a community activism team that is trying to find ways to actively uh, get involved in the city and combat violence. How can Highland do all of this? Uh, we've been given to foreign missions uh, even during the pandemic. Why? Because of one reason, you. And I want to take a break right here and tell you because of your financial uh, sustainment, how you have given to the ministry, you have listened to the Lord, and you have done your part. Um, we have been able to sustain the church. We are in uh, the best financial status um, that we could be in during a pandemic. And we thank you uh, for what you have done in sustaining the church. Our profit and loss margin, um, largely in the last six months, four out of six, we're in the positive. Why? That's because of you. So we've been able to gain money uh, throughout this year as we seek to do more and more ministry and community outreach. Um, so we thank you for that. Now I'm gonna move on to a couple of more uh, directories. I wanna talk about a family life. That's a very, very important directory. Um, and that's led by Deacon L. Webb and also Deaconess Kim Webb. And they, they've taken on this uh, challenging uh, yet promising directorate. Lots going on. And family life was impacted the most during COVID because when you can't come together and worship, uh, it's hard to pull everything together. But we're on our way back. And the family life, in fact, in February, some of you joined us for the Couples Valentine's event, which was great, led by, uh, hosted by um, Al and Kim Webb. And yours truly was uh, also a guest presenter during that Valentine's Couples event. Also, um, this year, the mature singles continue to meet and they're doing painting and crafts and just building community and fellowshipping one with another. And we are now revamping our couples, we're revamping our singles, our young adult singles, our mature singles are doing well. And so I, I am excited about what is happening under the Family Life Department. I also want to talk to you about our Elders Directorate. Our Elders Directorate led by none other than Elder Ward. He's our senior elder and he is doing a fantastic job. We have an Elders Council weekly, uh, monthly. We have weekly prayer and we have the new district pastors. So our elders are calling and reaching out. All of this happening during the pandemic. Highland Christian Center is on the move in the midst of a pandemic. Even as we come out of a pandemic, we're making a difference. And under the Elders Directorate is one of our ro most robust programs, and that is our Men of Valor. 25 men met monthly during this whole time for breakfasts as we opened the doors again in late, night, uh, late 2020. And now we are continuing uh, to meet for the Word of God and celebrating the natural food and the spiritual food. Um, the men have done community outreach, uh, street witnessing, as I said, evangelism training with the evangelism team. They've partnered up. We did a prayer walk in our community with 40 plus uh, going out around the Highland grounds in the, in the Gleason area and this, um, just praying uh, for our community. 
and also um, the men have the weekly Bible study that carried out throughout uh, COVID. And so these are the kind of things our men are doing. And all right, so now when you talk about the men, you cannot leave out the women's directory led by um, our own uh, mother, if you will, and minister uh, Laverne Morton. And what a wonderful job they are doing. I mean, the women's conference with the guest speaker this year was amazing. Nothing, I, and I predicted it was going to be a revival, and it was a revival. The women's department has the cooking classes going on. They have the women's monthly meetings with 20 plus women coming out for breakfast and the Word of God as well. And then the weekly Bible studies, 20 plus sometimes 25 plus or getting on the Zoom. It's our largest online Bible study is with the women. And then we have our illustrious mother board, mother's board, and they are still involved, making calls, sending bereavement, uh, bringing connections, making sure we're praying for the right people, keeping the church informed on things that are happening in the community. Our mother's board plays a vital role in all that we are doing. And then we cannot communicate uh, without our communications directory. Uh, and that is overseen right now by our executive pastor, Yolanda Roseby, and our communications associate, Darius Miniweather. What a spectacular job. We are on Facebook and YouTube like never before. The consistency of the filming, the videos each week, the streaming is growing, the number of views are growing, and we are excited where we're going. Uh, we're also working on the possibility of being on uh, local TV, and we're hoping that will happen soon, where you can go back and we can just reach a, a broader audience. You can watch the sermons, you can log into our website, you can go on YouTube, you can go on Facebook. We are putting the word out there. Our social media team, hats off to them, under the communication directorate. They are keeping us informed of the events, and we have a lot of events happening. Our website, as you know, has been revamped and is being revamped, so make sure you tune in. Oh, you want to know what's happening at Highland? Go to our website. Click on the weekly announcement right there. The current announcement is posted every Monday. Uh, rain, sunshine. Come rain or sunshine, you can tune in to get our uh, update on our website. And then, man, uh, Pastor Roseby is excited about the Planning Center app and how it's coming. She's going to be putting out a video and training. Everyone, we want everyone to get out your devices. I'm pulling out my phone right now. And on my home screen, if I click that right now, on my home screen, I have the Planning Center app. It's uh, loud and clear. And there it goes. It opened up right to giving. And that's what we want. That Planning uh, Center app is spinning right now. And uh, let's see. Oh, well, I'm having a little difficulty now. Now it's spinning it open, and then it started spinning on me. But I want everyone to get on Planning Center. That's how we're going to communicate. And speaking of governance and communication, um, I want to send a special shout out to our executive board. Our executive board works tirelessly uh, trying to help manage and govern the church, making sure we're following the bylaws. They come alongside of the senior pastor and support me and the executive team uh, and the leadership team in, in our church operations. And I just want to salute uh, our president, uh, uh, Margie Cooper Stanton, who leads the way with her team. And they have made tremendous progress with the, the new bylaws and uh, new financial practices. And we've had to clean up a lot of things uh, with our banking practices and procedures to make sure we're on track. And um, the new governance committee is installed. And, and, and then we even have a nominating committee coming soon. And as you watch this video, you have already uh, voted. 
um, for the nominating committee. And there's some big elections coming up in the coming months. But again, my hats are uh, off to our executive board and for what they have done um, to help us move the church forward in a financial uh, and governance perspective and helping us to get things aligned and do things the right way. Well, I also want to keep moving with our directorates. Um, I cannot leave out the Christian Education Directorate. It is a fantastic directorate led by none other than my mentor, Bishop Stuart Miniweather. And let me tell you, um, a lot of things are happening under uh, Bishop Miniweather. Uh, well, we have the Aspiring Ministries uh, class where this year we licensed 12 new ministers who are all getting involved somehow at Highland Christian Center. We have six more that I currently teach and I am training right now. Not only that, Bishop Miniweather leads a ministry enhancement class going on right now. They're on their summer break, but they kick in in a few weeks where 12 to 13 ministers attend that to continue to grow in their ministry and work towards the goal of ordination. And then Bishop Miniweather put on a Christian educated education workshop for all teachers um, throughout the um, church. And our new believers class has restarted as we come back. And uh, we hope um, that all of the Christian education will be coming back. And we mark this date. We're targeting September the 8th. We are targeting September the 8th to start Wednesday Night Live. And that includes our youth, our kids zone, our war zone, our kids zone, our main Bible study. Yes, Bishop Miniweather will be back with the main Bible study coming weekly. And then we would have our surge class led by Elder Ron Williams. And then our journey class uh, taught by Minister Judith Randall. And then of course yours truly will continue to uh, conduct online Bible studies with my guest ministers each week. We have over 30 ministers uh, coming through and circling and cycling. And so uh, to give them an opportunity to exercise their gifts, they're coming. Also, um, not necessarily under Christian education, look for a fall revival. And talking about exercising our gifts and, and using it for the furthering of the kingdom. And you know, under Christian education, I cannot leave that directorate without saluting our deaconess and our deacons. Our lead deacon and our lead deaconess do a wonderful job. And uh, they have led the way, uh, Deacon uh, Alvin McClure and Deaconess Tiffany Crumble, and they have led the way to keeping our church open and sustainable, uh, communion work, offering work, I mean, wonderful. And um, I, I wanna say they also did training for eight weeks eight weeks uh, during COVID. So see, a lot of things are happening at Highland and that's what we're trying to show. I'm just simply trying to communicate with my people that your church, my church is on the move. And speaking of the deacons and the deaconess, we could not do what we do on Sundays without our fantastic ushers and greeters who really make a tremendous uh, impact who serve under the deaconess uh, leadership but our ushers and greeters are fantastic and I want to thank them I mean they have been faithful during the pandemic we could not do it without the ushers without the greeters without the deacons without the deaconess without our security team I mean these are the core and essential of course our health and wellness team checking at the door our band being consistent coming in every week Darius working in the boots with the with the communications I mean this is a big team and they're doing a fantastic job I'm so excited about our youth directory 
Um, they have accomplished so much. Um, they were uh, led by our illustrious pastors of Pastor Israel and Sharani Hill. I mean, what a great work they have been doing. I mean, the war zone meeting from January till now. Uh, they were meeting weekly with 15 plus kids tuning in on Thursdays, even college kids from different campuses and non-Highland members all across uh, the United States were tuning in to the war zone. And then they led the kids zone weekly on Saturdays. They, they implemented programs for our youth, our children to make sure that they were taken care of during the pandemic. Um, and then they accomplished more than my hood, which was 40 plus people at the park uh, where we taught um, self-esteem and uh, giving them career ideas and goals that they could become more than what society will sometimes limit them to come. So our youth leaders um, have been outstanding. And um, in fact, they were coaching us through our new mentorship program, seven weeks, uh, intense mentorship right now that's going on on Thursday nights at high, or Thursday evenings, I should say, from two or Thursday afternoons from two 30 to 4 o'clock with our youth and we have 12 mentors uh, for boys and girls. Now, as you are viewing this, I do have uh, some breaking news to report in our youth department. All that I just mentioned were led under Pastor Israel and Sharani Hill, who have been the bedrock, a cornerstone in our church with our youth department. But I have to report um, at this time um, that they have felt that the Lord, they feel that the Lord has called them to a different direction and they will be moving on from high uh, they will be truly missed. It is, it is heartbreaking um, for all of us. Um, it, it will leave a gap in our ministry, but God, we pray, will provide and um, provide that uh, replacement. But at this time, we want to salute them and say thank you for uh, the commitment that you have given to Highland Christian Center over the years. This is the church, the youth pastors you have grown up in, you met in, and we are praying God's blessing over you and the ministry he has called you to do. We are not standing in the way of God, and we want you to be blessed in all you do.